fucking cut that shit. God damn it. This song goes out to Lou Pinelli, fucking pedophile. Biatch! <laughs> Take him through a little league game, I bet he'd smile. Fukudome. No. Go bump no. Harvard. First off, fuck the Cubs because Wrigley's gay, I think. We already have dinner, you know, he's got a couple more drinks in him. Go back to the room. Everyone's gone. I think it's Mighty, me, Evan, and, and, and Greystone are in the room. And Furball is completely gone by now. He's already finished the bottle. And he's just on the ground. And this one, you know, relates back to Anthrocon. And he's just talking about how much he hates the Cubs. His whole spat with the Cubs getting in a fight and tossed out of the elevator. And so he's just punching the ground next to him every time he says cub shittier than sodomy i'm pretty sure he's gotta be sticking it in ramirez's rear i mean it's clearer than clear that they're queerer than queer isn't it go skate fukudome gave kaz matsui an anal fissure why do you say bag in japanese i don't know yo listen up now cause i've got some time to spit a couple rhymes about the friendly confines yeah wrigley field it's the mecca of baseball pilgrimage for fans whose favorite team sucks balls jesus fucking christ look at your guys drafted from the cast of queer rock for the straight guy and every time he's hitting the fucking dresser we're like dude you're gonna like break your hand over this bounce off balance we all for beating that ball with a mallet we vivid shields across bronze field raucous at us cellular field the white Sox won Running them back, we be the bad men and bad men with black. So he's been doing this for at least, you know, 40 minutes, punching the fucking dresser, and it took the four of us to lift him up so we couldn't carry him. It, I think it was Evan that said, hey, there's some cubs in your room that are stealing your computer. And he looks up, and he goes, those motherfuckers. And he just, like, crawls out of the room. He's, like, forcing his way out of the room. Not, he, 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 like, didn't stand. He's kind of crouched now, like, crawling out of the room, cursing at the cubs. This is the kind of thing, quite honestly, right now, that makes you want to see the Chicago Cubs team lose. Get him into his room, you know, lifting and crawling and cursing the Cubs. But far and away, the most obnoxious fans in baseball in this league are those who follow this team right here. I didn't see him again until the next morning, you know, when we went to breakfast. And I was like, oh, dude, you, were, uh, you got in a fight with a, with a dresser. I had to recall the whole thing. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, that figures why. I mean, his hand was pretty beat up. It, it was, yeah, it was fun. That's MFF. Oh, that's All right. Hey, Chicago, it's just the norm. And what is with those uniforms? World Series time is here again. Unless you are a Cubbies fan So clap your hands and stomp your feet If you love to see the Cubs get beat Joke Cubs joke You suck! What a joke! Hey Chicago, you've been cursed You'll always leave the playoffs first